I'm Joe Jewell, Assistant Professor of Aeronautics and Astronautics here at Purdue University, and I'm standing next to the Boeing AFOSR Mach 6 Quiet Tunnel, where my lab group does research on objects that travel very fast through the atmosphere, up to six times the speed of sound. This is a unique facility in the United States, and indeed the world, in that we have a tunnel with good optical access that provides a quiet Mach 6 flow, by which we mean that it's low disturbance in the free stream. We create the quiet flow by controlling the laminar determulant transition process on the nozzle boundary layer, namely we prevent transition from happening, which prevents radiated noise from entering the free stream of our test section. We fly hypersonic vehicle models in here, such as this cone model that's in the wind tunnel currently, and study how the laminar turbulent transition process happens on the model. We use pressure sensors, lasers, thermocouples, and various other kinds of instrumentation in order to investigate the boundary layer process on the model and specifically how it transitions to turbulence. I'm standing here in front of the driver section of the Boeing AFOSR Mach 6 Ludwig tube. This is the tube part of the Ludwig tube, which we actually heat to 170 Celsius and fill with very clean, high pressure air that we then expand through our converging, diverging nozzle up to Mach 6 in the wind tunnel test section. I'm standing here in front of the 30,000 gallon dump tank or vacuum tank of the Boeing AFOSR Mach 6 quiet tunnel. All of the gas that starts out heated at high pressure in the Ludwig tube and passes through the nozzle and then the test section ends up here. And it's actually the point at which this tank fills that determines when our wind tunnel test is over. The size of this tank means that we get between two and five seconds of hypersonic Mach 6 flow in every test.